Hello, I'm Enrique Guzman, Senior Staff Engineer at Generac Power Systems. This is Aaron LaCroix, our Product Manager. And we're here to talk to you today about the MDG 175 Mobile Diesel Generator. Ready to go take a look inside? Come on, let's go. This unit is equipped with large service doors, uh, lockable slam latches, and removable for improved serviceability. On the inside, we're powered by a John Deere 6068 Tier 4 final engine with integrated engine thermal management to help control engine operating temperatures. So this unit is equipped with fuel filter heaters and a block heater. Additional options include oil pan heater and crankcase ventilation heater for maximum cold weather conditions. On the engine side, as I mentioned, we've got the engine thermal management to help maintain operating temperatures. On the front side of the cabinet, this unit also houses the SCR selective catalyst reduction, and also the DOC, diesel oxidation catalyst, which help reduce engine emissions to meet stringent tier four final requirements. Conveniently located on this side of the engine is the crankcase ventilation filter, the oil filter, the fuel filter, as well as these convenient drain locations for servicing the engine. Now let's go take a look at the other side of the machine. The aluminum enclosure has these large service doors equipped with sound attenuated foam for reduced sound. On the inside, we have lockable battery disconnect switch and a 12 volt single battery powering the electrical system on the generator. Let's take a look at the back side here. On the back end here, we have a Marathon Magna Plus alternator putting down 140 kilowatts of power for those prime power applications. This comes in three configurations standard alternator for prime power applications, super start for improved motor starting, and a V-Flex for 600 volt applications. Up top, this unit comes equipped with a three position selector switch to provide 480 volt, 208 voltage, or 240 volt single phase. Additional option includes a four position switch, which includes 240 volt delta connection. Up top, we have clear access to our air filter, and this unit is also equipped with a 10 amp battery charger. Let's take a look at the outside of this unit. Starting off in back here, we've got our diesel and our def fill, which are both lockable caps. Down below, we've got our 24 hour fuel tank. This comes in a single wall and a double wall for full containment of engine fluids and diesel fuel, as well as an extended run diesel tank. Our ladder here helps you gain access up to the uh, lift eye for moving the, uh, the, the unit around on your job site. We also have these convenient forklift pockets, forklift access as well. This rugged trailer design comes with durable steel fenders with diamond plate for better grip. We also have two 7,000 pound torsional axles to handle those rugged road conditions on the job sites. Up front, we have a three inch pintle hitch and also safety chains. This unit comes equipped with hydraulic brakes. Electric brakes are also optional. We also provide a rugged leveling jack to level set the unit prior to usage. Also optional is this handy storage box and the spare tire. Now I'm gonna hand it off to Aaron to talk a little bit more about controls and our AC distribution. Thanks Enrique for the explanation of the inner workings of the machine. Again, I'm Aaron LaCroix, product manager for mobile generators at Generac and I'm here to talk about the user interface for this machine and electrical connections. First thing that you'll notice on every Generac mobile generator is that it comes with a standard electrical stop switch. This is within easy reach to be used for any emergency. On the top panel here is where you'll find a standard 700 amp electrical breaker. The standard machine comes with a manual breaker Shown here is the optional motorized breaker that's included with paralleling capable machines. Next to that are the electrical connections for paralleling. Up to 32 machines can be connected together in parallel to increase the available power. At the bottom, you'll find the main power distribution electrical connections. At the top, you have your standard connection lugs at the bottom, we have the optional cam lock connectors for convenience. Generac recommends that all electrical work be completed by a licensed professional. Once all the electrical connections are completed, 
This door will be shut. Included here is a safety switch that will immediately trip the breaker should this door be opened while the unit is in operation. Next to the main three phase output are single phase convenience receptacles. As standard three twist lock receptacles and two standard duplex receptacles. As an option, a buck transformer can be ordered, which enables 120 volt output at these receptacles when the unit is in any voltage configuration. Also next to this, we have the two wire remote start stop function. This enables the machine to be turned on and off remotely. Also that you'll see here at the bottom are our shore power connections for the battery charger and the coolant heaters which Enrique mentioned earlier. The controller for the machine is located at the back away from the electrical connections. The controller is behind a padlockable door with a window in it, enabling the operator to walk up to the machine and see the current status without having to open the door. Standard controller with this machine is the Deep C 7310 controller for non-parallel capable machines. Controller is turned on just by using the rocker switch it has a backlit display along with uh, scrollable menus to search the different options including configurable start and stop timers, maintenance reminders, and other features of the machine for ease of use for the operator. Thank you for joining us today. For more information, go to GenerecMobileProducts.com. See you there.